guys welcome back to my channel uh first of all i just want to say thank you so much guys for your support for always coming back and watching my videos and supporting me guys i don't take it for granted i just want to say thank you so much guys for all your support uh if you're new on this platform my name is Hiyo Kadimonga. i'm a youtuber based in zimbabwe i do lifestyle inspiration and just living life unapologetically if it's something that really interests you make sure that you click the subscribe button which is right here uh turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos any of my videos and you become part of this platform um to all my OGs, the people who have already subscribed to this channel thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos so today guys i'm back again with another story time i know you guys love story times and me now i have a lot of them i even like i'm even forgetting some of the things that <laughs> happened in my life but one thing that I do not forget is a relationship, guys. It's relationships, for me, it's been a lot. But if I'm to be honest, I, I've seen a lot of people asking me if I have any like relationship challenges that I faced when I was still dating, which are related to my disability. I cannot think of any right now, to be honest. I think most of the challenges that I was facing were just relationship problems that anyone can face in relationships but anyway today i have come with another story time of that time when i dated a married man unknowingly before you both start judging me i dated this guy but i didn't know that this guy was married uh but anyway let's get straight right into the story okay guys so a few years back i think back in 20 is it 2013 I met this wonderful guy the guy was so nice and very sweet i don't know if i can mention where i met this guy because i don't know maybe he watches this um my videos and he's just gonna be offended but anyway let me just tell you guys the tea so i met this guy this guy was just wonderful very sweet and you know now i'm just starting to think to to, to realize like what people always say that married uh people or married men they are the sweetest they know exactly what to say they know exactly what to do they are so romantic and everything so this was the, the case with this guy it was just so nice it was so sweet and your girl your girl your baby girl i fell in love with this guy head over heels heels over head what what's the problem <laughs> head over heels guys so but you know what i know a lot of people are going to judge me for saying this but let me just try and find like nice ways to say you know when i started dating this guy i could really see that this guy we were not really the same like we were different when it comes to life the way we viewed life the way we we're just we we're different leagues guys different levels we we're just different but you know what baby girl i was like i love this guy i'm ready to build him up joke of the century <laughs> I was like, I'm ready to build my men up. I'm ready to struggle with him. I know things are going to change and all that. But let me tell you, ladies, my ladies who are listening, guys, you cannot change a person. You are not Jesus. You have to keep that in mind. You will never change a person. You can only change a person who wants to be changed. Okay? Let me repeat that again. You cannot change a person. You are not Jesus. You can only change a person who wants to be changed or is someone who is ready for a change okay so i'm dating this guy guys even the guy the way he used to dress it was just it was a disaster even like if his etiquette guys just life etiquette in general it was just a disaster but i was like baby girl i'm wife material i'm ready to just stick through the through thick and thin i'm just ready to stick with this man through and through through thick and thin so we are dating. If I tell you guys that this guy used to, like on, on birthdays or even on Valentine, like he, oh, not on birthdays, but on my birthday, because we only did for for a year, and we also celebrated um, what is it called, Valentine's Day once together. So on my, you know, guys, on Valentine's he bought me this present. If you're in Zimbabwe, I don't know maybe for other countries but you know guys those cups are written i love it like this small small cups very very small cups are written i love you and like a very small teddy bears were written i love you and they know that fake rose that fake uh, cloth rose 
which are always comes like wrapped. You shouldn't have plastic, so guys, it's plastic. I can only like wrapped in a plastic. If I see a video somewhere, not a video, a picture, I'm going to place it right here so that you guys can see how embarrassing, guys. But I was like, no problem. So we used to go like when we go like in, like in shops and all that. I will always show him like things that I like, the clothes that I like, so that at least he can get an idea of things to buy me whenever he wants to be my, to buy me some presents. Okay. And for me, I used to buy him like presents, like random. I'll bring him shoes because in my mind, I wanted him to change the way he used to dress because it was the ghetto. It was the ghetto. So I would buy him like shoes clothes like different things guys because i was like i'm building my man up i'm building my man <laughs> so we were just dating nothing like everything was okay i would even phone him like in the middle of the night guys and he'll pick up my calls we used to chat on whatsapp like even up to 3 a.m and there was no sign for me to to, to say okay this guy is married like there was no sign he, acted single that they acted single would communicate i would even call him at any time and you know what guys our boyfriend's relatives and friends those people are evil i remember his sisters used to call me makoti hey makoti makoti and they were just all over me and i'm like yes girl i am loved in this family <laughs> joke of the day so his family was just so nice. They used to call me Makoti and his friends were like, Wifey, Wifey. You people, you would not see her then. Then I'm generally good download them. So this guy, he then, um, he was like, ah, let's uh, exchange passwords. Because at that time, I wasn't really popular as I am now. But at that time, I was just someone, I was on Facebook and all that. And then I obviously, like I used to get a lot of like, inboxes in my facebook of people even guys like proposing to, to, to like to date me and all that so it's like babe i feel very insecure red flag number one but for me you know what i told you guys in the previous videos that when you're in love red flags they they are pinkish yeah you know they're they're still pinkish that was red flag number one it was like babe i'm so insecure can you please exchange uh, our facebook passwords me not being the, the 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 good girl that I am, I gave him my password. He also gave me his password. But the hey, snake, you you are so dumb. But for me, I even I didn't even realize, cause this Facebook account that I knew uh, of him, there was nothing on this account. Like he would post something once in a blue moon. Sometimes even share like different things from different pages. There was not, like nothing really like his pictures or anything. There was like nothing. It was only his picture on his profile uh, picture only. So, and I'm like, babe, but your your, your Facebook um, account like there's nothing. It was like, no, babe, Mina, I'm not a social media person. I don't really like social media that much. I just go on social media, just interact and see what's happening. But Mina, when it comes to posting, I don't mind. Mina was like, Hallelujah exactly you are the exactly person that i want i don't want a man who is like always on on social media unless it is a job i know people are going to judge me for this but anyway you know unless it's your job but just being on social media just like that uh -uh, uh -uh. as a man you need some respect like you need to consume social media like wisely guys not just like always you're posting posting your selfies every day posting your pictures every day mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I was like, ah, no, cool, no problem. So this other day, I was just sitting at home. It was only Sunday. I remember that day, like, clearly I can remember that day. It was only Sunday, so I'm just sitting at home. And I'm like, ah, I'm just on Facebook, going through, like... So you know how Facebook, like, suggests friend for you? You know that um, part where it is written, the people that you may know. Okay. And for me, lo and behold, there was my boyfriend... His profile picture and i'm like and you know what on this account it was written like his full name as it is written on his birth certificate so for example it was sneakyway tapiwa kademonga like his full name his first name and his second name and then his same name i'm like okay i've never clicked on some something the way i clicked so fast on that profile i clicked and oh my god 
the first picture that I saw, it was like a picture we was posted, I think, about three to two hours ago. And there was my boyfriend, in quotes, with his beautiful black queen, his wife, and their little angel, like a beautiful daughter. I think she was around three years. And the wife was even pregnant. And you know, guys, I scrolled through that profile. That's where he used to post like almost everything. He used to post his family, his kid, his baby. Guys, I literally felt my heart sinking. I've never felt that pain. I've never felt so betrayed the way I felt on that day. My heart sank. I didn't say anything. I just started crying. I'm like, God, what is this? Like, Honestly, what is this? And I even remember when we're dating, it used to be like, ah, babe, I need to do like something on the side. My business is not blooming. Can I please, um, can I please borrow maybe 50 US dollars? And for me, I was like, we are building our empire together. <laughs> at that time I was working, I would even give him money. And then at that time I started thinking like, oh my God. So all those months that I was sending him, he was just taking this money to his family. Guys, I was so hard broken i was so heartbroken guys i'm like honestly really i felt so bad even when i was like i was dating someone's husband i wonder if this wife had found out the way she was just going to be heartbroken so i was like you know what sneaky wipe off your tears you have to stand up for yourself and confront this idiot so i confronted him i was like so i, I found his phone there was no response. I think I had like about three missed calls. And then I texted him on, on WhatsApp. I'm like, I took a screenshot of that profile. And then I texted him. I was like, tell me, what is this? He didn't respond. He just blue ticked me. So I decided, I was like, let me call him. I called him. And he was like, please stop bothering me. I'm just enjoying time with my wife. I'm married. Guys, that guy said a lot. And I just started crying. My heart sank. So yeah, guys, that's basically how I dated someone's husband without knowing. Um, but after that, I really felt so bad, guys. I felt really, really bad. Because, but I was like, at the end of the day, Sniwe, you didn't know. So yeah, guys, that's basically just a short story that I decided that let me <laughs> just share with you guys what these sons of Farah, what they do to us. They waste our time. The you know, it was just so bad. And for me, I feel like it's really nice of you to, to be open with someone and say, oh, by the way, I like you, but I'm married, okay? So that people know, so that someone can make their own decision based on that. Which I'm not, I'm not uh, encouraging people to date um, people's husbands, but I'm just saying, you people, you like the men, you need to be open. You need to tell someone the truth so that people can actually know when they're married or not okay thank you